Hi, I'm Stella V and if you like what you see, just subscribe and you can join along in cooking with me. Today I'm going to show you a really, really simple, simple way, fast and easy, to get a full roast dinner on the table within 20 minutes. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, I used to be a very traditional cook until about three years ago when I discovered the Instant Pot and uh, it changed our lives. I'll show you how and why my husband calls it the Magic Pot. What I'm doing right now, cutting up potatoes into small pieces. That's going to be the base of our mashed potatoes. We are going to be preparing a roast pork tenderloin and I have it here already prepped. When you buy it, there's usually some silver skin. You just simply take that off and generously seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic salt. That's all it needs. And we will be cooking this in the Instant Pot. In less than 20 minutes from start to finish, you are going to have a delicious roast dinner complete with low calorie mashed potatoes and they'll be the best mashed potatoes you've had. So we've made our way over to the Instant Pot and generously oil, add some olive oil to the bottom. You can tell I'm not measuring, but it's probably a couple of tablespoons is all you need. And hit saute. And now the pot's going to get very warm. What we're going to be doing is actually browning that beautiful piece of pork tenderloin, and that will seal all the juices in. Uh, give it a couple of minutes, and it'll heat up nicely. And then, once you have it heated up, you just brown on all sides. Okay, so now we just let simply mess that up. Now you can see how quickly that starts to brown. You can hear it sizzle, that's what you're looking for. And the key to browning meat is to let do the work itself. There's nothing you have to do, you don't have to move it around. Can you hear that sizzle? That's telling you flavor and browning is happening here. Okay, I have removed the brown meat and it's got some brown bits in the bottom of that pan. So I'm simply going to add a little bit more olive oil. And now we're ready for the mushrooms. I've just sliced up some cremini mushrooms, but you can use whatever mushrooms you prefer. And that's going to be the base for our mushroom gravy. We're going to let that just saute for a bit. And uh, we'll add salt and some thyme. Mushroom and thyme are a match made in heaven. Now you can see how those mushrooms have a beautiful color on them. And that color has transferred also to the bottom of the pot. That's what you want to see. Now, those beautiful bits of brown that we saw at the bottom of the pot, I removed the mushrooms to a bowl and just added a little tiny bit of white wine and you'll hear sizzle and that's called deglazing the pot. And deglazing the pot in the instant pot is really important. If those brown bits were to stay, those brown bits would cause a burning notice and that's not a fun thing to have happen. Um, so we've deglazed it with some white wine. I've just clicked off the Instant Pot for a minute because now we're going to get ready to put our potatoes together. And I haven't even peeled the potatoes, that's how simple they are. And you can simply cut them into small pieces. I do it by cutting it in half vertically and then giving it three small chops. Now that we have all our potatoes chopped up, I'm just going to add them to the Instant Pot with all that wonderful flavor that we've built up already in there. Might want to give it another little stir because that liquid disappears pretty quickly. What I have now is two cups of chicken broth. You can add any kind of stock you like, whether a mushroom stock or a chicken stock. What you want to do is just cover those potatoes that you've chopped up with the broth. Now we're going to add a trivet. Any kind of trivet will do, but it just to raise it a 
above the liquid in the pot because you're going to be taking that nicely browned pork tenderloin and putting it back into the pot on the trivet with any juices. We're now ready to add the lid back onto the pot. We have our potatoes in stock on the bottom of the pot. We have our trivet and our beautiful piece of seared pork tenderloin on top. Simple as that. Our meal is just about ready for the magic to happen. Make sure your sealing, your instant pot is onto sealing, whichever model you have. This one is where the knob is pointed to the back. That's our sealing position. And we are going to put it on pressure cook now for four, five, five minutes. You heard that correctly. Five minutes is all you need for this to turn into a delicious roast dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, as soon as you press your pressure cooker and put your time on it, it's gonna take a bit of time for it to come up to pressure. So you're not gonna see that countdown until the whole pot comes up to pressure. Once it gets to pressure, you'll see the five minutes and then it will count downwards. Now you see that the number has turned to five, which means the pot has come up to pressure. It took about six or seven minutes for that to happen, but now we'll start to see that countdown from five down to zero. And now you can see that it has gone to zero and there's always a beep. There's a signal to let you know that's happened. You notice that once the pot hits down to zero, an L will appear. L is for low, means we've done our five minutes of high pressure, that is over, and now it'll start counting up. And this is also important because we want to have it naturally released for a period of time. Anytime you're dealing with meat, if you just release that quickly after the five minutes cooking time, you'll dry the meat out. This is like the meat rescue. For this meal, I wait till it hits five minutes, and then that's been five minutes of natural release. Now we're gonna just open that vent and let whatever is remaining in that pot escape. Okay, so now that all of that steam has escaped, it's the button at the back will click down telling you it's safe to open. There's a little button behind the vent and that's clicked down. And simply turn and off comes the lid. Simply lift that beautiful pork tenderloin out of the pan and remove the trivet. And remember I promised you the easiest, most tasty mashed potatoes. Here they are. We're gonna take them right out of the pan with a slotted spoon into a bowl. We've now taken all our potatoes out of the liquid and you'll notice that the pot will just keep counting up with that L in front. It has a keep warm feature, and that's the reason. Everything is still being nice and warm in here. It's not overcooking, it's just staying warm. And now we're ready to get our potatoes. I've just got a little potato masher, and we'll give that a quick little mash. I've also taken some of that reserved liquid from the pot, and I'm gonna add that to moisten it. Potatoes are nicely mashed and we'll just season with salt, salt and pepper. And I've got a little sour cream that I like to add to it just to keep it moist. The sour cream also lets you put it in the fridge for a few days or your freezer and simply reheat. But tonight we're having our entire meal right now. Now we're ready to finish up this meal and make our gravy. To cancel that process goes back to off and we're going to hit the saute button again. The same button that we use to brown our meat. We're now going to use it to heat up the broth and the liquid that's in here. 
I'm adding a little slurry that I just created with a little cornstarch and water. And by adding that to the chicken stock mixture, that's going to create a lovely thick gravy. You can now start to see little bubbles. That gravy is thickening nicely on the saute feature. And remember those wonderful sauteed mushrooms? Now we're going to add them back in and that way we're going to have a lovely mushroom gravy. So now we are ready to slice that beautiful pork tenderloin roast. It's a perfect, perfect medium with a slight pink tinge and and now we're ready to plate. We have a beautiful pork tenderloin rolls, perfectly cooked and seasoned, delicious mashed potatoes, and a mushroom gravy, all in 20 minutes. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe and come cook with me. I'm Stella V.